Hello and welcome to the Clue Finder's third grade adventures, the mystery of Mathra configuration guide. Today we're going to go over how to play this game, not just for speed runs, but for in general play if you wanted to stream this or if you just wanted to relive an old memory. Now, this does work with any old ROM or um, game that is a uh, PC only disc that you can download as an ISO. So, I posted this guide here on the Clue Finder speedrun, but I will go through this step by step so this game can be as available to anyone who wants to play and or speedrun this game as possible. So, while a free version of the PAL version may be found online, the US version does not softlock while skipping certain cutscenes. For the sake of this guide, you will need that it goes over. Now, what this means is that there's a uh, PAL or UK version and a US version. It doesn't matter which one you need, but the ISO that I'm providing for Clue Fighters 3rd Grade is strictly a USA version, which, unless you want to do some very hard tricks in the PAL version, is the easier version to run, and preferably I think the USA voice acting is better. Um, now, uh, as I said, I'm actually going to provide an ISO of the game in the description below, so you don't need a hard copy. You don't need to spend $3 on eBay for this game. It'll be in the description below. Uh, a VMware Workstation 15 player, or 16, 15 or 16 works. Um, I will also, I'm not going to link it because all you need to do is just copy and paste this into the Google bar. And the first search result is download VMware Workstation player. And you're set. You, you hit download now. And it, I know it says try workstation, but there is no trial. Um, as long as you register under a non-commercial license, you don't have to pay a single cent to uh, VMware. And uh, if you don't already, a zip folder and loader such as 7-Zip or WinRAR. That's pretty explanatory. And then these two. Now, I actually found a new fix so that you actually don't need the boot disk. Um, you only need... Windows 98 Second Edition. And the, I was going to use an older version that used the retail full, but on a second pass-through, it wasn't working. The first time I did it, it actually worked. But on the second pass-through, it didn't work at all. So, the most important thing, actually, is that you need to enable VTX, which you can only do on the BIOS menu of your operating system. So if you click this link, which I'll also have in the description below, over here, it lists all different types of operating systems, how to get into the BIOS menu, and uh, what you need to do. And all you need to do is go into the advanced or system configuration or anything akin to that and go into virtualization technology or, vir or just virtualization and hit enter. And you just enable it. That's the only thing you're doing. You're not messing up with your system 32. You're not uh, turning off your antivirus. All you're doing is enabling virtualization which otherwise VMware won't work because it's a virtual machine. So you actually need to do this before anything else. So shut down your computer, go into the BIOS, do the enabling, and then continue with your reboot, and then you're good. So the technical first step after that, because that's not even a step, that's just something you need to enable, but I guess that's step one. So I guess step two is uh, downloading VMware, the actual this, the workstation, which you need to restart your computer for. Um, so once you restart your computer and it fi uh, finishes the install process, you're going to be looking at something like this, but without here. So you're not going to have this. You're not, you're, you're not going to. I'm actually going to delete this for um, for purpose of this. So it's going to exactly look like this if you follow my steps word per word. So you might be thinking, oh, what do I do? I, I, I'm lost. Um, well, as long as you have downloaded... Windows 98 Second Edition VMware, you're in for a fun time. So you open the Virtual Machine section. You don't do Create New, you do Open a Virtual Machine, which is crazy, I know. So as you can see, it's labeled Windows 98. So we're going to go into here, open it. That's going to be the VMware Virtual Machine configuration. We're going to hit Open. All right. You're going to be presented with this screen. Now, you can either click here, this big play button, or this one right here. It doesn't matter which one. They both do the same thing. And this is going to pop up. And all you it basically just, if you don't know the answer, click, I copied it. So click, I copied it. Click back in the window. You're already booting it up. 
already easy. And you see this black screen, it's a little bit scary, don't worry. Just give the computer time to download. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. It's not gonna do this on every pass through. Um, it's just doing this on the first time installation. Now, as that little bubble where it says player set at the beginning, if you wanted to remove your mouse from the game, or not the game, but the operating system, because as, as you can see right now, it's pretty free form, and that's nice. But at times, the cursor is locked strictly inside the box. So when it's no longer stuck inside the box, uh, if you want it like outside the box, like here, you hit Control Alt at the same time, and you should be able to move freeform until you click back inside the window. That's just really helpful for whatever you're doing. So, username, since I'm strictly using this for Clue Finders, username Clue Finders and whatever password you want. And then it's going to ask you to confirm your new password. And then configure your clock if you dare. I don't really care. Let's see? nice warm up and you're actually running Windows 98 and you're almost done. So the last thing you need to do, the actual game portion is hit player, go to manage and virtual machine settings. Um, I personally would change the memory and processors, but because we're actually running the system, we're not going to change that. But we go to CD slash DVD and click the bubble that says you ISO image file. We're going to hit browse. I have it saved to my desktop, the actual ISO of Clue Finders 3rd. You click on that, hit open, then OK, hit yes. Give it some time, and right here, you're running the actual game. I might be thinking, oh, what if I close out of it, right? It's like I have it loaded up before. How do I get to it? It's very simple. You go to my computer at the top, and it should be right here. But you can also create a shortcut. And now you can turn it on whenever you want. And after it installs, just hit next for all that. Install everything. And soon enough, <laughs> after all this downloads, Installation's complete. Hit play again. For best results, please reset your display to... <laughs> That's so fun. Th th just hit yes. It doesn't really matter. Hit yes. There you go. So, you want to know what happens? You're in the game. Well, before you go on, you must use the key. And hit exit, and you're good. And you can reformat your screen to be smaller so it actually fits that. But yeah, that's how you run the game. And, uh... Simple as that. It... it the previous way I did it was a lot harder, so this is actually a crap ton easier. So if you follow all my steps, you should have no problems getting to where you need to in the guide. So thank you very much for your time, and have a great time playing Clue Finders 3rd Grade.